how has meditation affected uh, my movement practice and, and my teaching practice? Mm -hmm. It's given me a glue that glues everything together. Um, there is not so much separation between anything that I do now, anything that I say that I think, um, the places that I go. Meditation really gives that, that glue. Uh, some people talk about it as the glue. Some people say like a center point, the eye of the storm, right? The stillness from which the, the movement operates around, but it's still part of the same entity, right? If you didn't have the eye of the storm, you wouldn't have the storm, vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, so they create each other. Um, that principle of uh, definition versus negation, right? Like we draw a circle. Yep. And I can draw a circle by definition, by drawing an actual circle, or I can shade the area of the circle, thus creating the circle in the middle. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like physical practice, life, meditation. And they're, they're the same thing. It's just two lenses to approach the same thing. Um, I don't think you can really have such a clear experience of one without also experiencing the other to some degree, how much degree, is that correct English? Or to what degree? <laughs> it really depends on, uh, on the person, you know, you don't have to go to India and meditate for, you know, five years in a cave. Some people may, but most people don't, uh, you just need to find that balance. So meditation's kind of given me that, that, uh, unshakable, stillness at the center of everything that I do. Uh, mm. It allows me to act proactively and creatively as opposed to reacting destructively or defensively or any, anything like this. And so there's a direct correlation for me between how much meditation I do and how uh, how effective I am in the world. And also it's, it's this crazy thing where effective, the more meditation I do, the more effective I become and the, the more I can create and the, the greater change that I can initiate whilst the ease at which I do it also increases. Mm. It's opposite of the hustle culture where if I want to develop something, I work harder. It's the opposite. If I want to develop something great, I try and find the, the subatomic um, separating of the atom, right? I separate one atom, oof, the blast is massive. Um, if I hold a stick right, right at the end and I move it, it only moves a little bit for my hand to move a lot. But then if I hold it right at the bottom of the stick, I can move my hand just a tiny bit and the end of the stick will move very far. So the more I can establish myself in this sense of stillness, in this sense of awareness, uh, slow myself down, expand my awareness. That's kind of like taking your hand further and further down to the very bottom of the stick. And so when I come mm. in like that and move, the effect is far greater with less effort involved. 